Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Howard Moxon, an international antiquities trader who specializes in selling priceless art to finance terrorist organizations. He is currently involved in the sale of the Ivory White, a filigree egg looted during the Second World War. The client has requested that you both eliminate the target and locate and retrieve the original Ivory White. This priceless artifact is most likely in one of the museum's safes. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Hey, hey, hey! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another video by Cameraman ATL. First off, let me get it out of the way. Like, subscribe, comment. That's what I'm looking for. Easy to do. Just do it down there. Hit me up. Tell me what you like, don't like, and what you like to see more of. All right, now that we get out of the way. Here we are. Elusive Target, the broker number two, came out this past Friday. This is from the Hitman trilogy, uh, Hitman 1. Uh, it's Paris... The crime, the not the crime stopper, the showstopper location. Um, two things you got to do. You, the target is Howard Moxon, I guess that's how you pronounce it, and you have to retrieve the ivory white egg that you see there. Okay, here I'm going to let you know where the the white ivory egg is. It's upstairs in Dahlia Margolis's office. He, on the other hand, is all on the first floor walking around. You might catch him as you're on your way out when you see my, my video. I have three different ways of doing it. The first one's a little long because I lost where he was. But I did catch up to him. You'll see um, in my first video. It kind of took a little while to figure out where he was. But he came out two different exits when he comes out to the garden. He does eventually come out to the garden where everybody's at. So he might come out with the first set of doors or the middle set of doors. But eventually he does come out there, but he also has a guard with him, so be careful with the guard. The guard kind of doesn't like stick to him like glue. He does have space behind him. But um, other than that, you should be fine. But this one was a little easier. This one I never I never played before because I was kind of late to the party with the elusive targets from Hitman 1. Um, Hitman 2, I kind of caught on to a little bit, but still missed some. Hitman 3, I'm all about it. So now they're re-releasing them because... The trilogy came out on Game Pass on Xbox. I'm doing it on PS5, but you can also play on Xbox and also um, Steam on the PC. But uh, this one's real easy. Go upstairs. The Ivory White Egg is up in Dahlia Margolis's office. It's right upstairs. And just follow my path. You can do it several different ways, but I'm doing the basic, like you're new to the party, you don't have anything unlocked, none of the masteries, because one of the starting locations is mastery level 19, is undercover at the IAO, IAGO auction, which is hosted by Dahlia Margolis anyway. But if you do not have that unlocked, all you have to do is just start downstairs, work your way up. Um, as long as you can make it upstairs, you don't even have to go through showing the guy the, the invitation and go through the first, you don't have to do all that. Just follow my lead. Um, so I'm just doing a quick introduction here. Um, but this one's, all of them are three different ways. Silent Assassin, suit only. Um, you, you can knock the guys out, take their suits, whatever you want to, but this is real easy. You can do it, Silent Assassin, suit only. Um, I didn't fully finish any of them um, because I wanted to try more ways of killing him. I did an electrocution. I did a drowning. Um, so those were fun, but please enjoy, like I said, like, subscribe and comment, but, uh, here we go. I'm about to comment on the first three videos. Here's the one coming up is a little long because I lost him, but the other two are really quick. So please, I hope you enjoy Hitman on as always. And here we go. Let's do this. The elusive target, the broker number two. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. Uh, video number one. Uh, this one, like I said, the basic. I start from the entrance. Um, real easy to do, but it did take me a little long because I lost him. But once you figure out his path or the way he goes, eventually he does work his way outside because right here she will tell you he's on the bottom floor, which he is. He just is all over the place. He's a bald-headed guy wearing a turtleneck with a jacket and glasses. Um, 
I, I, I think I've run past him a few times when I'm coming in, but you can bring different weapons you want. If this is, just, I just did the basics because, like I said, not a lot of people have anything unlocked. This is just for people who just started. Um, but here I go, running outside. Follow this path. You're gonna see this thing right here. This is the electrocution. Go ahead and turn that off. You can keep it on if you want, but I'm always, I was always looking for. You, you can find a screwdriver. The screwdriver is if you go to the right of me past the end where the where the bush fence is on the other side if you turn directly to the right you'll see a screwdriver which you can just tamper with but i don't know who's going to see you then come back and turn everything on but you can shoot it with your weapon see how it's electrified there but if you go down here right where that guy right right when you get here make a right right down there you'll find a screwdriver if you don't want to shoot it out but um but i shot it out and it's electrified so eventually he does pass over that so come over here jump the the little um, fence there. Run along here. Climb this pole or this uh, pipe to the very top, because this is where the auction is, and this is where Dolly Margolis is. Now she she visits her office quite a bit, so you're gonna have to be very patient with her. Um, if you want to quickly go in and just knock her around, knock knock her uh, her little assistant around, that's great. But I run right here through the attic. It is a trespassing area, so be careful. Nobody's going to notice you. Hop over. And this is her bathroom connected to the office. You can have two guards sitting outside watching. Go ahead and turn the You can do the radio or flip a coin. I tried flipping a coin a couple times, and for some reason, he, they just never caught on to it. They never hear it. I don't know what the deal is. So go ahead and hide. A guard's gonna come in, you're gonna knock him out. If you turn the radio on, directly turn it back off again because if you do not, somebody else will hear it when in the middle of choking him. Hide his body. Leave his weapon there. You can pick it up and leave it, his weapon there. Because you can also have the other guard come in, grab the weapon and carry it, but you have to be quick about it because he only carries it like for a few ways. I threw the coin there. He did hear it, which is great because a, a couple of times I tried this, they didn't hear it. it kind of pissed me off after a while. Like, how did you not hear it? So he sees the weapon. Now you can knock him out if you want, or you can just let him pick up the weapon and leave. Okay, now, while, while Dahlia Margolis is talking to her assistant, you can come in and make sure it's at the beginning because if you're not careful, if it's toward the end, she will walk your way and then she will see you. Go ahead and throw a coin over there in the corner. Did not hear it, throw in again. I, was, I thought this was gonna be another one of those things. Okay, now, boom. Now, they're still in the beginning stages of their conversation. They will not see you go after her. Go ahead and do your lock pick. The egg is inside, grab it, go the way you came. You can go out that door, but I didn't want to risk it being seen uh, and being in the, in the trespassing zone, whatever you, and this is just basically just as quick. But if you want to try the door, have at it. Run out the attic, you can go downstairs too. There's a lot of stairs. You can take the helicopter exit if you wanted to, but I never took the helicopter exit, which is right there. Um, I just thought this was much easier. Now you're gonna to get to the uh, part of the video where I lost him. I'm gonna fast forward to that part until you can run through there if you like. Careful, people are, enforcers are seeing you, but they never catch on. Like I said, over here to the left, at the, up top of these steps to the left is a screwdriver. You can grab that and you can fix the surge protector or short it out. But there he was right there on his phone. I had already missed him walking over here. Now I was very, cautious about those two so I turned it off just in case but they never did walk in the puddle here I go fast forward And here he is, walking up to me now. See the way he's dressed, turtleneck, coat, suit, glasses, and eventually he comes outside and
And we're back. You see, in the, when I was fast forwarding, I did throw a coin in there just in case, but you don't have to because eventually he does walk over there. Here he comes from the left. I was also kind of cautious about his guard following him, but he walks right up to the pot, to the to the puddle, gets electrocuted, and Bob's your uncle. You're done. So now I just took the exit. Now you can go take the helicopter exit, but you're in a trespassing zone. Just be careful if you try that area because you still have the the photographer taking pictures of Helmut and you also have enforcers walking everybody's an enforcer everybody noticed that you do not belong because you are wearing your suit so I just went ahead and went out the front um, but like I said you saw how I had to fast forward but he does have a pattern but eventually he does go outside to the garden and he does take his sweet time walking around but I don't think he ever goes upstairs so that was video one all right, welcome to video number two now. Basically the same thing, basic thing. I got the baller, the lot pick, and some coins. Um, basically, this is the same path, doing the same thing. Um, easy peasy. So you run through the front door, it's the same thing. Um, but this time, I knew his pattern. I knew his path. I knew eventually he came outside. So just take your time with this one because you, you don't have to rush because he does, like I said, eventually come outside. It just takes him a while. So just go ahead and do your business. Go upstairs and get retrieve the ivory white. Um, go ahead and set the trap if you want. If you, you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and set the trap if you want to go ahead and let your human get that out of the way. But now that I know that nobody is going to walk over the puddle other than him, you're fine to go ahead and do it. It took me a couple of tries. It, I don't know why. Well, that one, that one was number one, but usually it takes a few tries. I don't know what the deal is. So that's good. the puddle's already electrified. You're good to go. Just go get the egg. Let's knock it out. Same path, but like I said, but if you unlocked the level 19, mastery level 19, you can start upstairs if you want to. Dolly Margolis will come over to you, ask you questions. You're a fan of Ivan or or what have you, the other guy. Uh, the other target from the showstopper. Uh, that's when you find. That's when everybody finds out his stage name or his code name or or whatever is Tobias Reaper, which is a great name by the way. So go ahead and climb the pole again. Jump on the balcony. Go down to the attic trespassing area. So just be cool. That guy never sees you. He just stands there. Go ahead and hop the little go out the window. Hop the little fence right there. Little barricade. Go into the bathroom again. Go ahead and get these two guys. You, like I said, you knock out two guards if you want, or one. He did here, which is good. You'll see the coin. Quickly knock him out before he gets in front of the, the mirror because he will see you. He'll see you in the reflection. Yes, there's a coin on the floor. Go get it. Hey, look, there's two coins. He, I don't think he saw the first one. So throw in a second one. You have to wait till the uh, question mark over his head goes away before you throw it. Give him a check in. Okay, he'll see it. Knock him out. It's kind of close there because he was almost to the mirror, but he was looking down. Now here, you can you can take his disguise if you want, and you'll be in a non-trespassing zone. You'll be you'll you'll fit in. That's completely up to you. Go ahead and grab the coins if you want. You will need one coin to distract. Her assistant, Dolly's assistant. Go ahead and get that guard out of the way. You can take his disguise if you want, or you can hide him. Or you have to hide him anyway, but you can take disguise if you want. See, there you go. Boom. Howard is electrocuted. So you already got one out of there. Now, if you do mess up, now if you do come across to where you are about to die or something happened, but you already have one of these knocked out, do not go back to the, do not exit to the main menu. Do not. Just go ahead and shut down the game and then bring it back up again. There we got the ivory white. Same thing. Distractor with a coin. Got the ivory white. Now we're back out. Like I said, you can run out the door if you want. Um, risk it. Now I can't remember, but, but, but if you want to try, that's fine. And if you mess up, like I said, don't exit to the main menu. If you're not, it will be a failed and you can't play it again. Um, 
but go ahead and like shut down completely shut down the game and then come back and play it again eventually i do run out that way just to make sure off the fence again like you've already got everything you you already assassinated eliminated the target assassinated the target and you got the ivory white you retrieved the ivory white so now you just go like i said you can go to the helicopter in your suit but you have to be careful you are in a trespassing zone or you could have gotten the guard suit. Still, there's one enforcer. No matter what guard suit you get, there's always an enforcer that knows what you, who you are. So just be careful that he stands in front of the helicopter. Go ahead and run out. Go to the front. And poof, this is a little faster. I knew the pattern a little bit. I knew where he was coming. I knew that everything was going to be fine. So the second one was a little faster. Now the third one I'm going to do is I'm going to bring along the Igmatic uh, Mine, or Grenade, or whatever you want to call it, um, with me in a briefcase. See the remote Igmatic gas device? That's coming up next. So that when you bring the Igmatic uh, gas device in the briefcase, you can take it out of the briefcase, put it back in the briefcase, and you have a trigger. Because you can use it, you can stand up next to him and just pull the trigger, it emits a gas, and he goes to throw up. Now, you have to be careful because a lot of times, depending on where they are, it, this includes every mission or every elusive target or any target or any contract you create or any other. If they're near a bathroom, they will go to the right, but if they're not, they will find alternatives, which will be um, a planter. Um, garbage can just off a balcony and it just doesn't really help you um but see there i just so happened to run into him because i was going to use a different thing so you get up next to him it doesn't affect you you don't want his guard around so you want to hit him a little bit to where he stops he will follow him so you want to get now i thought he was going to pick up the briefcase but he didn't so Howard is sick. He's going to come to this bathroom because I caught him right before he went out the door. There's no place to hide, but if you get, if you kill him, when you, when you drown him, it's an accidental kill, which I don't know. I guess that's an accident if you put your head in the toilet and drown. But here he comes. His guard does not come in, but he stands outside. Howard kind of just stands there for a second. Boom. Drowned. Easy peasy. And once you kill him, just leave him there. Um, his body will eventually be found, but it's an accidental kill. No big deal. There's his little security guard. He took the briefcase. And off you go. Now all you gotta do is retrieve. Follow the steps that we did before. We go upstairs. Retrieve the um, ivory white. And then off you go. See, his body was found. You still have your silent assassin rating, which is the double double ballers in the green if they got into the red this is where you have to shut down the game and then start again because somebody saw you doing illegal activity make sure to get, you don't get spotted by the enforcers climb the pole again go ahead and jump the little <clears throat> balcony thing right there Run through the attic, make your first right, up the barricade. Bathroom. Like I said, you don't have to do it in suit. You can you can do it in you can grab his disguise if you want and then you have free room. Just make sure they do not see you tampering with the ivory white safe. Because if they see you doing that, that will, you're spotted, you'll get the red ballers, and you don't get the selling this last. Go ahead and distract the other guard. He comes in. Just in case he doesn't see that, which behind the door he won't. 
No, he came right in, knock him out. He's like, you can take this disguise if you want, or if you want to do a suit only, go ahead and drag him to the closet. You can leave the guns there or move them, whatever you like. They do not see them. She eventually comes in here later on, but you're already gone. Uh, I went ahead and moved it because I didn't want her hearing anything or seeing anything that would cause a problem. So she's talking to her assistant. Go ahead and distract the distract them. She will send her assistant. Make sure she does not walk over here. If she turns back around, see here she see. She was gonna see you. I thought he was gonna turn around, but he never does. I don't know. Like <laughs> she sent him to the corner to think about the bad thing he did. So he just stands there. Because if he sees you doing the lockpick, it is a big freaking deal. And like I said, you'll get spotted and you'll lose the silent assassin. So once you get the ivory, go ahead and out the out the window, back through the, the attic. You can go downstairs if you like, all the way down. It's up to you. I just choose this way because I just did. You can take the helicopter, but you're in a trespassing zone. I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to play around more this weekend. To, so see, I could have done that many times. Save, save a couple of seconds. That guy's always an enforcer. He will see you no matter what. I did a couple of videos on the enforcers on different maps. Um, just made like a little fun little mission type thing, a little campaign mission about the enforcers, killing the enforcers. Uh, check that out if you like. I did several videos on those. Um, take this exit. There's several exits you can take, but this is just the easiest one other than the helicopter. But like I said, several times repeating myself, you're in a trespassing zone. Uh, I'm going to try this again before the nine days is up. You have like nine to ten days from the time it launches. But this is the three different ways I've done. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I enjoyed making them. Please right there. Cameraman ATL. Subscribe, like, and comment. I hope you had a great time watching these. I have a great time making these. Please follow me on Twitch. The Bald Cameraman and on YouTube, Cameraman ATL. Thanks a lot, guys, and Hitman on. Thanks, guys.